Hey guys, it's the Me Sandwich, and I'm going to be talking about the new Child's Play movie that just released. So, um, so to tell you the truth, I'm not a huge fan of it. Like, pretty sure a lot of you guys are going to feel this way. Um, the reason why I did not like it was because, obviously, um, no one likes remakes anymore. Like, I like the Friday the 13th remake, but the Child's Play remake, they should have done it a long time ago. They should have re remade this in, like, 2009 or 2010, like, when Friday the 13th and Nightmare on Elm Street were remade. But when Chucky got his remake, I don't think it was good. Um, actually, I haven't seen the Nightmare on Elm Street remake yet. I will see that um, with my dad if once we review all uh, or just watch them all. Um, but to be honest, like I mentioned, I was not a huge fan of this new Child's Play movie. Like when this is uploaded, it has a 59% on Rotten Tomatoes. Like first time I checked, it was at 67. But eh. I placed it like fifth place of all the all eight films. Like of all, if you rank all the films together, like I would put that in fifth place. Um. So next time I do a movie or a video, like like if I run out of ideas, I will rank all the Child's Play movie slash Chucky movies. Yeah, when this excuse me new Child's Play comes out, or or when like if, when I bore it, I'll release my um. You know, so um, so like I would like that a lot better if they just had a human like a human possess him, like like he was possessed by Charlie Lee Ray, who who is a person that makes people go to sleep forever, blah blah blah. Like I would like it a lot more. Like I mentioned, I would like it a lot more if if they just had if they just have him possess it instead of just all that. Like I like the new. I mean. And to, be, and to be honest, like, I think it will also win a lot more, but, or something, like, it's the first time Charles, um, um, you know, um, um, what was his name, um, Kindorf, um, Brad Dorf, um, this is his first time not being the voice of Chucky, he's voiced by the guy who plays Luke Skywalker in Star Wars, um, which is, <coughs> excuse me, Mark something O, um, but he, so he's the new voice of Chucky, so, and, and, um, and, yeah, the movie's just a yeah for me. Like, I'm pretty sure when all the review after it wins fully reviewed, I'm pretty sure it will be at a 40, like, somewhere under 50%. Like, way under 50, or maybe under 40, if I'm lucky enough. Yeah. What did I expect? It, it was from the producers of It. I mean, it was good. It was good. I, I might even see the sequel when it comes out in theaters. I'm going to see it with my dad. Um, But, like I mentioned, I'm not a huge fan of this new, re this new remake. Um, Do I recommend it? Only if you want to see it. Um, So, well, it's your choice if you want to see it, but... Like I, should, like I mentioned, when I rank, if I did rank them all, I would, shoot, I would place it in fifth place. Still better than see a Chucky, <laughs> that's for sure. Um, but... Like I mentioned, it was a meh for me. Um, if you're a huge Child's Play fan, you can watch it if you want to. Um, besides that, the movie was wasn't good, but but also wasn't bad either. It was good, but not it it wasn't good, but it also wasn't bad. You get what I'm saying? So um, I'm gonna go. So yeah, I'll um. See you um, on Tuesday when I will release a, a review of Super Mario Maker because since Super Mario Maker 2 is coming out, I should tell you that a lot of people are saying goodbye to Super Mario Maker. Like, Dashi just released his final episode of Super Mario Maker. Like, he, he might release another episode, but I don't think he will. But still, it's his longest episode of Mario Maker. Like, it's unbelievable. I think I'm just going to go... I'm. I was pretty disappointed by the movie. Also, wasn't bad like I mentioned. Um, go, you can go watch it if you want to. I'll see you on Tuesday when I when I when I talk about Super Mario Maker and why it was good.